This edition of Mac Voices is brought to you by Support Your App. Support Your App specializes in supporting Mac and iOS apps since 2011. When your app gets featured in the App Store, Support Your App will help you deal with the avalanche of customer feedback, will help you build your support processes faster, and will save your developers time to focus on the product. Learn more at supportyourapp.com. Mac Voices is in San Jose for AltConf and WWDC. I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, this is another of the AltConf's sponsors, Mac Stadium. This is Sean, and he's going to tell us what's what Mac Stadium is and what's new with Mac Stadium since we talked to Brian last year, Sean. Well, hey, Chuck. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, it's good to, good to see you, and thanks again for uh, for being here and helping sponsor AltConf. Absolutely. It's a great show, and it's been awesome. We've had a chance to meet some really great developers doing small projects and huge projects. It's, it's quite a mixture here. That's one of the things that makes it so much fun. You have the, the indie developer who's just starting out, and then you've got some guy that has you know eight or ten apps or more in the app store. So, Not to mention all of the really big companies that are coming through, learning from the small developers and teaching, which is awesome, too. Sometimes the small developers are teaching the big companies something. Yep, absolutely. So tell me about Mac Stadium. Sure. So Mac Stadium does hosted Apple infrastructure as a service. Um, if you are a developer and you need to have a Mac somewhere other than on your lap, Mac Stadium's the place to get it. Um, and for small developers, that may mean something as simple as a Mac Mini that's in a data center with fast Ethernet connection and redundant power that you can always count on to be there. Uh, if you want to throw a job to it, or even we have people that just use it to remote from their iPad so that they have access to a Mac OS anywhere they go. Um, but we can also create really scalable cloud infrastructure if you need something more. So companies that are investing in continuous integration will uh, set up a cloud from Mac Stadium, so we can run that on iMac Pros that we have here, or we can actually rack the cylindrical Mac Pros, so that's a photo of that behind me, and we can run virtualization software on top of that, so you can really have a scalable cloud running Mac OS VMs um, that can scale from two VMs to 2,000 VMs. Wow, that's impressive. And, I, and this is this is intriguing. I, I I looked at this, but I didn't think about this being uh, an, an iMac Pro. Right. This is something that we're announcing at AltConf, actually. So this, we're just entering into private beta. When they released the iMac Pro and described it as the most powerful Mac ever made, we hopped to work and set about figuring out how you can get this in an enterprise rack so that we can actually put it in our data centers and make it available to our customers as a service. So in some of our testing, if you're running builds on a Mac Mini, this is almost eight times faster to run a compiled job than a, than a two-core Mac Mini. So what we've done is we've created this rack, and this is all custom designed and built by us. And we have uh, the ability to put six of these iMac Pros. We put them face-to-face -face here, which unfortunately wastes the amazing screen. But they're in a data center anyway, so it's not like anybody's looking at it. Uh, and then we can slide this in to a standard enterprise rack, and we can actually get 24 of these in a single rack which is a huge amount of compute power for folks who need it. Uh, yeah, and, and also quite a lot of money in one rack as well. It is, yeah, it's quite a lot of money <laughs> for these. I mean, uh, nothing from Apple is cheap. Yeah, no, but I mean, it's a very slick, slick arrangement. I, until now, I didn't know exactly what I was looking at, but it makes perfect sense. Yeah, we, we tried a bunch of different orientations, and this is the way that you can get the most density in there. What's really cool is underneath this, we actually have um, all of the heat routing done, as well as building in redundant power and redundant Ethernet, so 10 gigabit redundant Ethernet. So we have four channels, two to connect to the fabric of the cloud, and two to connect to SAN. So we pair this with pure storage, which gives you up to 15 gigabytes a second, or 15 yeah, gigabytes a second of storage throughput, which is tremendously fast. Wow. Very nice. And of course, the, you know, the cylindrical, I, I like that picture as well, because that even though those are, those are older machines, they're still very serviceable and very powerful these for what you're machines. using. Yeah. yeah, and we have uh, lots of customers are using these. Uh, you know, big companies that you know of are using these to power their builds. And if you're using build as a service platforms like Travis CI or something like that, most of those companies actually use us as well to run their underlying Mac infrastructure. So if you're using any kind of uh, build as a service tool, you're probably using Mac Stadium behind the scenes. Okay, so if my needs aren't quite this sophisticated right. or this powerful, how far down do we go in the power level and, and the cost level? Sure. Our uh, entry level plans start at $50 a month for a single Mac Mini. And that works great for a lot of use cases. Um, even a lot of large companies will just, you know, all they need is a single Mac Mini to start. Or if you're a single developer and you just need a single Mac Mini to run some builds. Um, 
And that works great for a lot of people, and we can scale that up as you need. So if you need two Mac Minis, you can get two. If, you know, when it, when it comes time to get something that's more scalable and automatable, we can move you into a cloud. Very nice. We're Very actually nice. offering something else that we're announcing at AltConf is our free and open source project, where we're sponsoring any open source projects with a free Mac Mini. Uh, you just link us to your GitHub. We make sure that um, you know it's a real project and sign you up, and you get access to a free Mac Mini or fifty dollars off whatever you know larger infrastructure you might need. Wow, that's that's fantastic. That really is that. That makes it affordable for pretty much anybody to get into this. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's. As we um, sort of discover how developers are using Mac Stadium's infrastructure, we want to invest more and more in that. Um, help learn from them, help support them, help them on the projects that might be their side project or might be the way that they're entering into the world so that when it comes time to sign up for something bigger, uh, they know our service, they know our company, and, um, and are ready to work with us. Now, I, I said when we started that you're helping sponsor AltConf. You've also been very visible around the city sponsoring a number of different events. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's that's great for all of those, but I'm curious, what do you feel the, the, the big benefit is here of being at AltConf? Is it just connecting with the developers? Um, AltConf is, uh, I mean, it's right next door to the biggest developer conference for this ecosystem, and we get great folks, uh, you know, the sessions here are great, the traffic uh, coming through and talking to us at the booth is great, we've been seeing a lot of people wearing our Build Different shirts, and um, yeah, it just it feels like the, the hub for all of this, and we've you know, been pretty active in sponsoring things like Jenkins World and uh, Mac DevOps and other kind of conferences that are related to continuous integration where we can get access to a lot of um, folks that are trying to do Mac builds. And, you know, there are elements of the Apple build um, process that are really challenging, and we're here trying to help that. Well, thank you for being here. We, we all appreciate it because it helps give everybody that didn't get a ticket a place to come and connect and, and learn. Well, it's great speaking with you. Thanks for uh, taking the time to interview us, Chuck. Yeah. We'll do it again hopefully next year. Absolutely. All right. Thanks very much. Folks, we'll have more from AltConf in San Jose. I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Mac Voices Facebook group and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us at patreon.com slash macvoices and join these folks who help keep Mac Voices coming to you. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.